Hello friends. In this lecture, we are going to learn about Euler's criteria for quadratic residue. In the previous lecture, we saw the basic method, common method used for quadratic residue, right? So this is uh, proposed by Euler's. So it is uh, called Euler's criteria for quadratic residue. So uh, for for any quadratic residue method, it will always be applied for uh, prime numbers only rather be it that common quadratic residue method or this Euler criteria method all right it will always be applied for prime numbers only so here let p be any prime number now if a raised to p minus 1 whole divided by 2 congruent to 1 mod p then the value a is considered as quadratic residue in mod p if a raised to p minus 1 whole divided by 2 congruent to 1 uh, sorry minus 1 mod p then a is quadratic non residue so did you get it that if it is positive one it will be a residue if it is negative one it will be a non residue so let us understand that this with uh, solving two examples example number one is 14 a quadratic residue in z star 23 so let us check so here a will be our 14 and p is our 23 so 14 raised to 23 minus 1 divided by 2 mod 23 which would be equal to 14 raised to 11 mod 23 so 14 raised to 11 mod 23 if you solve it you would be getting answer as 22 mod 23 so it is equal to minus 1 so as it returned minus 1 it according to the rule it states that it is a non residue so 14 is quadratic non residue in z star 23 now let us check for is 16 a quadratic residue in z star 23 so a here will be 16 p here again 23 so 16 raised to 23 minus 1 divided by 2 mod 23 which is equal to 16 raised to 11 mod 23 if you solve this you will be getting your answer as 1 so according to the rule if it returns one it is a quadratic residue so yes 16 is a quadratic residue in z star 23 all right so this was another easy method called euler's criteria for quadratic residue and do not forget that quadratic residue methods will always be used for prime numbers only all right thank you